You mentioned earlier about the people in Orange. For the people who don't know this, um, they actually had uniforms down in, in Austin. The pro-abortion crowd showed up first in orange, bright orange, Planned Parenthood with a bright orange and bus. They were paid and bus. Paid yes. employees, bus from out of state often. Yeah. Weren't they getting paid thirteen hundred dollars? Thirteen hundred to twenty two hundred dollars. Twenty two hundred for the month to be down there, and they had a huge bus. Planned Parenthood, who has no money to fix their clinics for the safety of Texas women, was able to wrap this huge bus in orange and pay people to stand out there. And they absolutely, they had organizers standing in the hall telling them when to basically riot right. um, at the end of bills. So it was an incredibly organized event well orchestrated. that took place. But they wanted you to believe that this was spontaneous was uprising organic, organic, by the people of right. Texas <laughs> opposed to this. But the fact that they had to pay people and bus them in from out of state proves that they were lying about that. Why couldn't they just get them right there in Austin? Well, and by and large, when you look at the bill, it is a compromise bill. Like you mentioned, Troy, it is, it's not saying shut down every clinic. It is saying if you really are about safe, legal, and rare, which we're seeing that they completely are not, this would make these clinics safer. And they are common sense laws. Right. Um, but right now you have Planned Parenthood controlling the media and controlling the narrative. And so they're um, telling everybody this has nothing to do with women's safety. It's about, you know, making halls wider or ventilation systems. These are superfluous changes. And we saw um, Senator from New Brunswick who actually stood up, Senator Campbell, she stood up and she went down the list of these superfluous, cha superfluous changes and said, you know, you want to know why the halls need to be bigger? For emergency gurneys, because we've seen in other states when they need to rush in, time is, you know, of the essence, and they can't get in when the halls are smaller. And the ventilation system is so that you're not um, spreading bacteria. It's been proven that when you have better ventilation with the anesthesiologists and all this, it, you know, is safer for women. And so all these things that they wanted to um, say were ridiculous were not. This is a compromise bill. And whenever a pro-lifer, the one thing I will say they tried to do was shut us up. Every chance they got, they tried to scream over us or shout over us. There was even in the courtyard rotunda, we had this one small little group where we were doing a live uh, kind of testimony session going straight to a pro-life website. And that's where they just start walking around us, screaming and chanting as loud. And so you have this little huddle of people in the blue shirts and the orange shirts are walking around us screaming. They're putting their signs in front of our cameras. Um, they just wanted to shut us up. And I think that's why it's so important and so vital now that people who maybe you don't like to be political on Facebook or on Twitter, and you don't necessarily like to talk about it. It's so important that your voices are heard because the media is representing it that this is even and that um, these people do speak for Texas and they were being repressed when really what we have to acknowledge is I spoke for Texas when I voted, when I called my senator, when I called my mm -hmm. congressman. So by them saying that you have to be the, the loudest and right. shout the longest, you're silencing me. Right, exactly. Yep. Um, I read an article just that came out just this week that admitted that they were planning this months before the session ended. Don't forget that Planned Parenthood had all these employees that you better be sure they said had to attend. They picked orange, again, months in advance, which is conveniently the color of the University of Texas. They invited students from the University of Texas to these events during the week on the guise of come to a party by Planned Parenthood, but be sure to wear your orange t-shirts. So. It was, it was not organic. It was hard for them to get the numbers of people that they really needed compared to us when we decided, whoa, we've got to show up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't hard for us to show up. And they had to pay people to well, The most ironic part of the now, it, they had the Occupy Austin group down there. That was one of the big yeah. ones. So Occupy Wall Street, who's against big business, is down there fighting so that Planned Parenthood does not have to get rid of any of their profit to right. make wow. things safer for Texas women. <laughs> right. Like the irony was... It's unbelievable. Oh, the hypocrisy. I think the... Uh...